Traveling to a particular place in time and reliving the memories are one of life's best gifts. If the time being relived was a pleasant one. Food often has the power to do that if you haven't enjoyed a particular meal in such a long time. It's nostalgia at its best. In this video, I filmed my mom as she prepared a childhood favorite called Impotompoto when she came to visit. Impotompoto is like saying mash mash. Impotompoto is also known as Impihun by most Achim folks in Ghana. For this meal, you need these ingredients. Yam or coco yam, if that's what you prefer. Smoked fish or any meat of your choice. Momone or salted stinky fish. Onions, tomatoes, pepper, salt, garlic, palm oil, and seasoning cubes. You start by peeling your yam and cutting it into sizable cubes. Add water and salt and boil it. You're going to be boiling it till it's almost in a mash state, so it's better to add a little more water than you normally would when boiling. So how much pepper is enough? Um, to your taste. Okay. Yeah. So how many are you adding? Let me see. Let me finish coming then. That is about uh, ten. That's a lot. That's ten. Peppers. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. It's it's a lot. Let's see the two spices. Yeah. Three. No, it's one. Okay. The next thing you do is to prep your ingredients for the sauce that will be mixed with the boiled mashed yam. Please note that the amount of ingredients you use especially with spicing and seasoning are often by preference. For the sauce, you start by heating your palm oil in a pot. Add the salted fish to give it flavor and then proceed to add chopped onions soon after. Add your blended tomatoes, onions, pepper and garlic to the mix and let it simmer.
And then lastly, add the fish. Add your seasoning now. The fish is often added last because when often overcooked, it tends to break into pieces and dissolve in the sauce. And then there's not much to munch on. Impotampoto is quite simple. It's basically spicy tomato sauce made with palm nut mixed with mashed yam. The palm oil is of course one of the most important ingredients of this meal as it adds to the color and flavor. It's also how impotampoto is traditionally prepared. As said before, you can either use smoked fish, that's mackerel, tuna, or both, or add other meats to your sauce. It's a matter of preference, and mom likes to make hers with smoked mackerel or tuna. I don't even remember the last time I had this meal, but as nostalgia would have it, it tasted exactly how I remember it. I hope you enjoyed our little time travel video. Thank you for watching.